Good morning. This is the Fresh Word in Season TV program number 10. And I'm coming to you today talking to you about soulmates. I just read an article and it stirred my spirit. And I wanted to come and talk to you because I believe the Holy Spirit has stirred me to do that. And the article talked about how um, there are no such thing as soulmates, true soulmates. And uh, the gist of the article was saying that um, don't put your trust in another human being to complete you, which is very true. Because when you marry, you should marry to be, uh, to be loved by the other person, but never uh, to the point of putting your complete uh, faith and trust in that other person to complete you because you're complete in Jesus Christ. Uh, he's the one that completes you. Uh, the Father and the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ is your completion. And uh, you should never count on someone else to complete you because you are complete in the Lord. And that is a wonderful thing to know. Because if I count on my wife or my, you know, or if you count on your spouse to complete you, you will be disappointed. Not that the Lord didn't bring me a beautiful spouse because I prayed and the Lord brought me a wonderful woman and she is a wonderful wife. And I am blessed, blessed, blessed to have her. However, I am flawed and she is flawed because we're all human. We're all in this human form and we can make mistakes. And in those mistakes, we can hurt each other. Not on purpose, but we can. So uh, we have to realize that and uh, realize that, you know, we all walk on the ground. We don't walk above the ground. We all, you know, if we walked across the water, we would sink. Jesus walked on the water. He didn't sink. You know, uh, I always say one, one man walked on the water. The other guy fell in. <laughs> Although Jesus picked him up and they walked back to the boat together. A lot of people miss that part on that scripture. So it is wonderful to realize that we can read an article and it can stir your spirit and you can realize and uh, that uh, there's more to it than just what some people see. And I wanted to share with you that the Holy Spirit completes you. Um, he is here to protect us, to guide us. Uh, Jesus said, I will go and make a place for you, and if I go, I will send you the Comforter. And um, he said that he would send the Comforter to us, and he did indeed send us the Comforter. And we see that in the scriptures where the veil uh, of the temple was ripped from the top to the bottom. And that signified that it was from God. He ripped that veil from the top to the bottom, and he no longer dwells, the Holy Spirit no longer dwells in the um, in the temple, but he dwells within us and he completes us and he gives us uh, the things that we need. We learn, we need to learn how to access those things. If we need security and we don't feel secure, you know, Jesus died and gave us everything we need and gave us access to everything we need. He's done it all. He's not going to die again on the cross for us to give us some more. You know, he said, I've done, it's done. He said, it's finished, it's done. He's given us everything we need. And so we need to realize how to access this. We need to realize how to access things for our healing, things for our, for our comfort. He said the Holy Spirit would come and comfort you. So if you are sad and upset or hurt, um, the Holy Spirit is here to comfort you. And if you don't know how to access that, then open up the Bible read through the Bible, find those comforting scriptures, or if you can't find them, then go to your pastor or go to a spiritual friend that you can trust and say, help me find these, because I need to find these things so that when I do feel down, I can go and I can find these and I can, I can be comforted. And, you know, sometimes you just have to say, Lord, help. And those two words... Oh my, that, that moves mountains. That moves mountains, you know, because, uh, oh boy, I could tell you some stories that come to my mind right now with Lord help. Oh man, the Lord does help. 
But, um, you know, the comfort of the Holy Spirit and the completion, our completion is in Him. Our completion is in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so when we learn how to access for our completion, we will not lack any good thing. Because it says in the Word that He wishes we would not lack any good thing. And, and then it also says that when Jesus died on the cross, He said, It is finished. And He said He wants us to have everything on earth as it is in heaven. So we have the ability to claim everything here on earth right now. To have it now on earth as the same as we would have it in heaven. If we were walking in heaven right now, and we needed something, and we could have it, like health, like no diabetes, no sickness, we could have that here on earth, if we could have that much faith. And so we have to find out how to connect into that. Now I know that there's people out there dying of diabetes, and I know I have diabetes myself, and I'm not saying that you don't have faith if you have diabetes, because I have faith and I have diabetes. Now, why is that? I don't know. However, this I do know. Jesus is not a liar. There's no lie in him. Who is the liar? <laughs> the one that comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Okay? So just because we have not figured out what it is, that we need to connect to, that we're not connected to yet, doesn't mean that it's not true. So that we can think on that and we can pray on that. Think on the good things. Think on things that, that are positive and true. That's what he tells us to do, right? So instead of thinking, oh, woe is me, and this is bad, and this is bad, think on these things. Pray and ask the Father for wisdom. Say, Lord, give me wisdom to know how I should pray, to encourage myself, to lift myself up, to be strong, to be healthy, to be active, to be all these things that I need and want to be so I can be fulfilled and I can feel fulfilled and feel strong. That way I don't look, at, look to somebody else to be encouraged or to be fulfilled. Because your spouse is not the person to look to. Your pastor is not the person to look to. We are to look to the Lord. He is our encourager. And what an encourager he is. Oh boy, I sure do love the Lord. He's a wonderful God. He is so good to us. He loves us so much. You know anybody else willing to die for you? You know? He's our big brother. It says in the Bible that we were created just a little bit below Elohim. A lot of people think we were born below, the, we were created below the angels, but that was misconstrued in, in um, the interpretation. We were created below the Lord and above the angels. So that means that we are above all the fallen angels. The devil is amongst all those fallen angels. So we are created above the fallen angels. So we have natural authority over them. So when we start getting harassed by them, we say, Get far from me because I have natural authority over you. So I am a blood-bought, born-again child of God. You have no natural authority over me. So you get out of here in Jesus' name. And they've got to flee. So you're not harassed by them anymore. And you can be comforted in knowing that that will work every time. The enemy has got to flee, so you will not be harassed. So you don't have to be bullied and beaten up. And you know that God loves you because he's given you that power. He's given you that wisdom to know how to deal with a bully. And he has to go because... The devil won't be around anywhere where the blood of Jesus is. You can guarantee that. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Well, this has been great to be with you today in this short little message. Be encouraged and be um, enlightened in knowing that your completion 
is in the Lord. Your completion is in the Holy Spirit in your edification and trust in them and trust in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And in them, you will have everything you need. Well, we look forward to seeing you again when the Holy Spirit stirs our spirit and, and encourages us to come to, to speak to you again. This is program number 10 for A Fresh Word in Season TV. God bless. Shalom. Have a good day.